doing this. For just a little bit more time. You know, mother still doesn't know. But my brother gives me a strange look. We have to keep this a secret. Come on, they won't know how much I love you. This hurts you. Not anymore. Alex? Yes. How will we raise them? Who? Our children. Susanna, it doesn't matter if our kids are Muslims or, or Christians, they'll be loved. As much as you love me. As much as I love you. Yes, sister. No, my Nico, my Nico. Break it! No, my Nico, you're not going to break it! No, my Nico! 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 Ne, 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 Be back. Doc, just tell me what happened. We found your father unconscious in the street. How bad is it? He's battered and bruised, but that's not the real problem. I've been seeing your father for uh, several weeks now. At first, it was hard to tell what was wrong. It's called the plastic anemia. My fear is that all of those years of working with chemicals and radiation finally caught up with him. Is there a cure? With treatment, he could live another five to ten years without. He'll be dead in six months. Your father needs a bone marrow transplant. His best chance is with a donor from his own bloodline. I know you were adopted, so... Doctor, I'll do anything for my father. Alex, as far as I know, there is only one person that could serve as a donor, and that would be his biological son. Peter. Are you okay? What happened? They got me pretty good, huh? <laughs> what happened to you? In-laws. Oh, Alex, Alex, I warned you. Susanne is a lovely girl. I really like her. But Christians and Muslims don't mix. Are you going to lecture me now? Maybe I should. <laughs> Dr. Kovic told me what's wrong. Why didn't you tell me? Because I'm a secretive old man. <laughs> Alex, and now listen. There is something you must do for me. You don't have to ask me. I'll, I'll go to the States to find my brother. I should never have sent him and your mother away. It is one of the greatest regrets of my life. 
But at the time, it was the only thing I could do. It was for their good. You understand that, Alex, don't you? You understand? Yes. It was ten years ago. Ten years of watching our family fall apart. Maybe this will bring our family together. Maybe. You remember, I gave your brother a cross just like this that night they went away. Oh, Alex, is it even possible for you to leave Serbia? I'll do it. it. Frankenstein or the mummy? Which one? You know American cinema? I have done what you asked. Now, please let my family go. Well, I've always been a man of my word. They are free to go. Thank you. Ja stali ne možete razgovar s tobom. On ti vam je važno da je vidim. Pogledat ću. Uvazi kuću. Čuješ šta ti kažem, bre? Šta hoćeš? Traja mi Suzana, hoću nešto ćemo da popričam. Nemate vi šta da razgovarate. Nemam vremena sve za ovo. Ti nisi dobro došao ovde. Došao sam da vidim Suzanu. Odlazi. Odlazi, ostavi nas na miru već jednom. Mama. Ne. Molim. Aleks, kako ti je otac? Treba nešto tamo da popričam. Na samo. He's very sick. Unfortunately, my brother is the only one who can help. So what should I then to do? I'm going to the States to find my brother and bring him back. I'm worried. I know a woman who used to work at American Embassy. She's going to help me out with visa and everything. But how long has it been since you even seen Peter? What if he don't come back for you? What if you don't come back for me? Susanna, I love you. I will come back for you. If it wasn't for Senka, I would come. Susanna. You know, you must understand, she's my sister. I can't sleep here. Coming back.
going to find a Peter. I'm coming back for you in sync. Then you and me, we're going to live our lives together. If you died, I would be so mad. You haven't heard. I can't die. Again. Good to see you, Maggie. Sorry to hear about your father. Thank you. The good news is I did manage to pull some strings and get you a visa on short notice. That's fantastic. You're gonna fly out of Belgrade to Heathrow. One stop and then to Chicago. Everything you need is in here. Your tickets, your confirmation numbers, itinerary, visa, everything. Great. And who is your lead in Chicago? It's a little bit shaky, but I'm afraid it's all we've got. It's a woman named Maria. She's sympathetic to your situation. You'll like her. She's got great contacts. Maggie, I don't know how to thank you. Friends help friends, right? Thanks. Good luck. So you're a doctor, yeah? I am a scientist. Hello, little scientist. Can science do something about this? I suppose that is a danger of your profession. <laughs> Such a smart ass. Such a smart ass. Doctor. Scientist. How is our guest? He's docile, sir. Any word about the sun? A rapport reports he has arrived in Chicago. No word yet of whether or not he has found his target. I think I need to have a private moment here with the uh, good doctor. Oh, he's a scientist, sir. Oh. I'll have a chat with the scientist. Positive. Keeping up with the news? Those fucking Cubs, you know? I, everybody keeps letting me down. I know you're not in your beloved Belgrade, but with the countryside and Kosovo, there's a lot of charm. The wind is blowing, the birds are singing. And your son is in America. I don't deal with terrorists. You remember when you were working with the chemical 
weapons department of the military with our Dr. Slatton. There's no need to remind me. <laughs> yeah, well. I just did. What's going on here? We are running a test on your discovery. No, no, you can't. It's too dangerous. I warned you. This formula is unpredictable. The test will proceed. If your chemical weapon is effective, you will go down in history as a true patriot. But who are these people? Who these people are, are not of your concern. Sadly to say, they won't be missed. Begin the test. I also know that your um, formula disappeared. You said it went missing and you couldn't find it. You said it burned up in your laboratory and you couldn't recreate it even if you wanted to. That is the truth. I don't believe you. You're a fucking liar. It's right up there in that brain of yours. That's where it is. I'm an old man. I've forgotten many things, and I don't want to remember something that can kill millions of people. Well, <laughs> I'm not a young man myself, but I do know that I spoke to Dr. Slotin, and he told me that that formula can save lives. I do not remember. <laughs> You're pretty funny. You know that? Here's my suspicion, all right? My humble opinion. You sent your wife and your son to America with the secret formula, didn't you? And now she's dead, the wife. But the son, he knows. Don't talk about my wife and my son. for um, Alex to return with your son. Maybe 
Miami can uh, refresh your memory. Not remember. <laughs> you just keep getting more funny every minute. <laughs> to America. Please, have a seat. Thank you. Maggie said you might be able to help me find my brother Peter. Peter Olson. Yeah, I'm working on it. Alex, you had a long trip. You must be exhausted. Maria! Yeah, come on up. Hey. Hey. You must be that Serbian guy. Alex. Alex Ovilich. I hope I'm saying that right. This is Evan Gardner. Nice to meet you. I know Evan for a long time. He's the closest thing to a brother I have. And I've got a pretty good idea of where your brother might be. But first, can I talk to you upstairs? Yeah. Can I use your phone for a sec? Yeah, yeah. Here you are. Thank you. Hello. Alex. How are you, Alex? Alex? Hey. Are you in Chicago? I'm here. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. I cannot talk for long, but uh, I'm calling to let you know that I love you. I love you, I miss you so much. Zena, nema potrebe da se zamajavaš. Ono se više neće da. Mrzim te. A ja tebe volim. I zato ti govorim istinu. Ako me voliš, onda me pusti da živim svoj život. On je Srbin! Pusti me da živim svoj život! thing I need is for you to get hurt under my watch. I'll keep my guard up. Here you go, guys. Find everything in there you need. According to this, Dr. Gorn Ovalich's biological son, Peter, fled to the U.S. with his mother back in 96 due to the conflicts. We've tracked him here somewhere in Chicago under the name of Peter Olson. And they haven't seen each other in over a decade. Yes. And there, a picture of his mother, a Chinese national, she met Gorn back while he was still in the military. They had Peter, and about 10 years later, they adopted Alex. Now, Alex didn't flee with him because he was still in the military. Now, according to Interpol, Gorin stayed behind as well to work with the government on some chemical weaponry. Wonderful. Our fear is that he's working with a terrorist named Drek, who's based in Kosovo. Evidently, Oblich came up with some chemical weapon that is real nasty shit, and every terrorist organization in the world wants it. So our way to get to Drek is through his two sons. Okay. Go dazzle. I had told you not to speak on English, but I will kill you. No, I want to speak English good, like you. You want to speak English well? I want to speak English well, so I can go to America with you and Alex. So sweet, but 
you should stay here with family. At least until you finish your school. I don't want to be here if you're not. Thank you. We will be together soon. I promise you that. Do you love Alex more than you love us? No, of course not. It's just the thing between Alex and me, it's... It's complicated. Why? You know the story about Romeo and Juliet? Something like that. And there are people here, and they don't approve of Alex and me being together. Like Nico? Like Nico. And Mom. And many others. Until people look past our differences, our religion, our heritage, Alex and I can be happy together. In America, we have a chance. Well then, if you're in America, I want to be there with you. You will be. I promise you that. Opet se spremaš da pobegneš s onim Srbinom iza mojih leđa. Kadite mi se oba dve. Truješ svoju sestru glupostima. Mama, molim te. Senka, idi u svoju sobu. Nemoj da vičeš na nju, ja sam kriva. Naravno da si ti kriva. Puniš je glavu lažima, fantazijama, bajkama. Tvoja ljubljena Amerika. Nisam nije očekivala da ćeš me razumjeti. Ja razumem samo da sam ti dala svoje srce i svoju dušu. I vidim kako mi vraćaš. Ljuješ po svojoj porodici, po svojoj veri, po svojoj zemlji. Bežiš sa neprijateljem. Ja ću se moliti za tvoju dušu. You called before, Susanna. Your girlfriend, wife. She's my fiance. Mm. But her family doesn't know yet. They don't approve. See, her family is Muslim. I'm Christian. What I'm from is a problem. Why not move? Come here and be free to do what you want. We're making plans. But it's not that easy for us to live in America. I need to be with my father, especially right now, in this condition. I can help him, but I hope Peter can. It's his only chance. You must be really close to your father. Yes, he adopted me when I was young. He was always there for me. Uh, I've seen worse. Daddy, let's see if I can get this bullet out. Do you get it? You just relax, Alex. You're lucky I don't put a band-aid on it and send you back to the front line. I believe you would. Now, let's get you sewn up. You'll be good as new. A little piece of metal in your shoulder, but good as new. Wow. 
I don't think I've ever known anyone who has been shot. Excuse me. Hello? Well? I can talk for a long, he's right here. What do we know? So far, his story checks out. I'm convinced that he's here because he thinks his brother can save his father's life. The guy just doesn't scream terrorist to me. Just stick with the plan. You know what to do next. Great news. There was Evan. He found your brother. Let's go. So, three. Alex Sovlich has located his brother. Have we made contact yet? Negative. But soon. The updates are forthcoming. Well, you gotta keep a monitor on the situation. The last thing I need is Albert to come back without that key. I think we need some kind of insurance policy. You understand? I know you. Put your money where your mouth is, boys! Let's go. <laughs> Važi, mama. Da. Ej, reci Senki da će pokupiti sutra ovdje u devet ujutru. Da. Niko? Mama? Da, tu sam.
Значит, такая с ней. Swept by the colonels again. How you doing, Kelly? I'm good. Did you win today? I did all right. Okay. Well, say hey to Maddie for me. We'll do. So far, so good. They're talking now. I told Alex I wait for him. It's hard to read this Peter guy. It could take a few hours, or it could be a few minutes. You are an amazing fighter. Thanks. I'm starting to think that fighting runs in our family. Yeah. So how long has it been? Ten years? Eleven? Too long. Why don't you keep in touch? I was a soldier. You were a soldier. And because you were a soldier, you and Dad couldn't come to Mom's funeral. I find that very hard to believe. I see you still wore the cross Dad gave to you. It's the one remaining tie I have to my family in Serbia. Dad and me, we're always thinking about you. It's funny, Alex. Because I was always thinking about you. I was thinking about you every time I walked into Mom's hospital room. And I saw her crying. Because you never came to say goodbye. I don't want you as a brother. Don't say that. Please. So how is he? Very bad. What's wrong? He needs a bone marrow transplant. I 
don't see you for a decade. And suddenly you show up in America when you need me? Where were you all those years mom and I needed you and dad? And now you want me to give my blood to a man who abandoned us? Pete, please. Don't touch me, Alex. I'll knock you out. Excuse me. Yeah. I'm looking for Peter. Peter? Ah, oh, you mean Pete. Pete. <laughs> His brother. Yes. Uh, he's uh, upstairs, around the back. Have a good one. Thanks. I told you no. I need to know. Where is she buried? What? Mom. Where is your resting place? I want to pay my respects. Let me get my shirt and I'll show you. Day goes by that I don't think about her. She missed you so much. Both you and Dad. We miss her. And you. How long would it take to get to Serbia? Come on in. Thanks. Hmm. Nice. Our 
cursing at me. I will die before I tell you what you want to know. And so will my sons. What are our little lives compared to the millions you want to kill? Oh, you really need to start playing the piano. Very cathartic. Susanna, don't you cry for me. Cause I come from Alabama with the banjo on my knee. Yippee! Yeah! <laughs> Ring a bell? You didn't know they wrote a song about you, did you? You know her name? I don't know her. Well, your son knows her. In fact, they were gonna get married. What difference would it make? It's worth it, her life. My life, my sons, they're all worth it to stop you getting the formula. Well, then there's one thing that I feel obligated to let you know. Your son has impregnated old Susanna. So, you want to kill that too? Want to kill your grandchild? You call me a killer? You call me a terrorist? If you want to kill it, that's up to you. If you want to kill your sons, might as well kill your grandchild, too. Kill her. Go ahead. The dirty, stinking animal. I'll let you just uh, contemplate that, Grandpa. Doing in my brother's place. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, he asked you a question. Uh, we had to be sure you are who you say you are. And the same goes for you, Peter. Your father is on the CIA terrorist list. We were afraid that he sent you here to recruit Peter. We had to be sure he wasn't involved. Enough. All right, my father is not a terrorist. He's dying right now. No, he isn't. What's going on? He belonged to you. How much have you told them? Just about the list. I'm sorry that Agent Casey and I had to deceive you like this. Actually, it's Jessica. Jessica Casey. Your father is one of the most sought after chemists in the world today. He's been on our radar since 97 when he left the Serbian military. Our father's a good man. You were also positive your father was dying. What? Goran Volich isn't dying. He knew the only way for you to go find Peter and bring him back was to tell you that. Does the name Igim Drek mean anything to you? No. Well, Drek is a terrorist, and our sources say that he's working with your father. That's impossible, all right? Peter, we're leaving. Alex. We helped you find your brother. Now we need your help finding Drac. Sit down. Now. Now we got a proposition. Exactly, how are we going? The Kosovo border. Oh, great. I said I'd go back, but not like this. Question 
Why get me involved in this? If Drek went to all of this trouble for you, we need to know why. Peter, you've been under surveillance for the last 18 months. You didn't take a piss without us knowing about it. All we want to do is follow you guys in there so we can find out where this piece of shit is. Look, we've made arrangements to get you across the border, but then we can't help you, at least not till you find Drek. Your contact Maggie's in Kosovo. She can help once we pinpoint the location where we think your father's being held. Maggie? She works for you? Hey, the CIA has long arms. We've kept tabs on Drek for years. He's killed more people than you can imagine. But he works for the highest bidder, Taliban, Al-Qaeda, it doesn't matter. What we need from you two is to go in and pin them down long enough so we can go in and nail them. All right. Alex, you know better than anyone that this is not going to be a cakewalk, OK? That's right. Any ideas on where you want to enter? Yep. They should just approach in the border outside here. What's this coming through, sir? Catch the bus and then blend in with the locals. Take the satellite phone. We're going to use it to monitor your location at all times. But don't use it unless it's absolutely necessary. You sure you know how to use one of these? Good choice. No, thanks. Pete, you got to have the gun. This man is very dangerous. He will kill you with no warning. I hate guns. Remember, you guys don't exist to us any longer. We got a pretty good idea where Drex compound is, but we can't pinpoint it exactly. You move in, we move in. You don't, you're on your own. Good to know. Bye. Yo. really bad, wasn't it? wait for you to meet my fiancée, Susanna. Fiancée? She's beautiful.
Hello, everybody. How are you today? Put your hands up. Thank you. Have a nice day. Don't worry. Maggie sent us. Jump in the back. Alex Oblich. And you are? I'm Christina Sladen. Our fathers worked together in the military. Your father has been kidnapped. We know. You know? So you know about Susanna, too. What? Dread. Zlatan. Where is our father? Drek will release your father if he gets the formula. So, please, hand it to me. Uh, no. Because I don't have a clue about this formula. I thought you understood the reason why you're here. Your father and I developed a chemical weapon, and I believe he gave it to you. I don't have a formula, or key, or bomb, or whatever else you guys want. Sorry to hear that. Otto, will you please take his bag? All I want is the formula. So please, give me the formula. And I told you, we don't have it! Ah! Christina... I apologize for my daughter's enthusiasm. Otto, take them to observation room. I will be in shortly. What are they gonna do to us? Torture. They want us to talk. About what? I don't know anything. Don't say anything, okay? Hello, gentlemen. I'm certainly glad I'm not you. to experience pain like you never felt in your life.
So, tell me, where is the formula? I keep telling you, I don't know anything about any formula. What do we know? Nothing yet. But very soon. Any movement? Negative. They've been at this location for three hours. Think they found Drek? Any word from our contact in Serbia? Maggie? No. She'll check in, though. Call Langley. Have him prepare a chopper. We're gonna go in ahead of him. What? That was the plan all along, wasn't it? What are you talking about? It didn't matter if Peter had the info. You were going to let them lead you to drag, then blow all of them to Kingdom Come. Let's call it Plan B. And what was the Plan A? They're innocent, Alex and Peter. You can't sacrifice them just to get drag. Yeah, I can and I will, all right? It's nothing personal. You know what they say. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Besides, I knew you would do the right thing. Right, Papa? I suspect you uh, still haven't revealed your father's secret, have you? I don't know about any secret. Just you take Alex to your favorite room. <laughs> <laughs> With pleasure. All right. <laughs> it's 
good to see you again. You too. I see. <sighs> it must be Susanna. Yes. They're as beautiful as Alex said. Where is Alex? They took him away. Oh, my God. Don't smoke here, please. Okay. What's with the smoking thing? Nobody can smoke anywhere anymore, I think. I don't get it. The whole fucking world's going to hell. How's it going? Everything is ready. All we need is a final piece of the puzzle. Once we have that, we can use it to clear our enemies. Our enemies? Yes, that's why we are here, correct? The Christians, the Muslims, the Arabs, the Bosnians, the Jews, the Americans, the Iranians. Green, yellow, blue, black, white, red, orange, I don't really give a good fuck. I just want to know who's got the money. That was not our deal. Well, <clears throat> when we're both on the beach in Bora Bora, maybe you'll feel different. If you want to go to Bora Bora, I've been there. It's pretty cool. The brothers told Christina nothing. I need that information. Well, your daughter has a very persuasive way of working things out with men, so why don't we just uh, let that happen? This is not how I'd imagined our reunion. <laughs>
got what you wanted. Now let us go. Hey, you're both free to go. As long as I have a secret for them. And that's what I did. Amen. Excuse me, I have something to do. <laughs> Right location? Well, according to the tracking device, this is where the movement stopped. Yeah, uh, they probably saw us come in. Not exactly a high traffic area. I'd say we got 20 minutes to get in there. No problem. think I'm doing here. Don't raise your voice to me. Please, just give me some more time. Do not fail. Do not fail. I have to tell you something. They do not have the final key to the formula. It wasn't in the cross. That was not the real version. It was never with you, Peter. Where is it?
lives, honey. Oh, we do. So, guys. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Drop your guns. Now. The other one, too. How long have you been working with Rec? I don't think that really matters. Move. something. You were always the key. What do you mean? Your shoulder 
when you were wounded in the war. When I fixed you up, you thought I left the bullet inside. You just relax, Alex. You're lucky I don't put a band-aid on it and send you back to the front line. It was the formula in a little metal capsule. Let's get you sewn up. You'll be good as new. A little piece of metal in your shoulder, but good as new. Generals would have used it for terrible things. What I made can kill millions, but it can also do good. Promise me that when the time is right, you will do the right thing with it. I promise. You're a good son, Alex. Tell Peter I love him. And I'm sorry for Um, we gotta go. Go. I'll be there. Alex. He's gone. Take Suzanne and go. guys. You remember the time you guys said you were willing to die for your country? Well, now's that time. Which one of you want to die first?
or were you afraid I wouldn't make it back? to say I was really happy to see you again. From now on, our family is going to be stronger than ever. What about your family back in Serbia? They still don't approve of a Muslim marry a Christian. But I hope a grandchild will change them. You ever gonna take that thing out of your shoulder? When the time is right.
find the guiding light We can find the truth again I will love you till I die Should I?